Hi you guys, welcome back. Very exciting things happening soon. We all know it, we all love it. The Sephora sale, the twice a year sale is coming in November. I cannot wait, I have a bunch of stuff in my cart. I'm trying to sit a bit. I have a lot in my cart, but I wanted to share my favorites and things that I love and like with my whole chest could recommend to you guys. I wrote down all my recommendations. I have like, I don't know, 15 or so or something like that. So lots to go through and yeah, let's just talk about it. Hourglass palettes. So every year I think Hourglass does like a holiday sort of palette and do like a new theme and they like introduce new colors. Definitely recommend the Hourglass palettes if you just want like one product to have it all in your makeup bag that is the hourglass palette next for skin i want to recommend something lighter it's the danessa danessa myrix yummy skin tint i'm sure i said that wrong danessa myrix not sure but i have tested this in store like a bunch put on my face i keep going back to try it on i'll like put it on my face i've done like i've tested all the shades on my hands skin tint is so good and it does give like a very light amount of coverage but that's all I need. I love it. I really want this for myself, but I love it. I want you guys to try it for me. It's so good. That would be on my list. For concealer, I feel like I'm the queen of concealer. I love concealer because I have like the worst dark circles ever that you've ever seen. <laughs> um, I've been using concealer since the seventh grade. My favorite, all-time favorite, that I use every day, I'm wearing it like today, right now, is the Dior Forever Concealer. It's so good. I think I have the shade two in. I also have three in. I think I just use the neutral shades, but so good. I love it. Um, the formula is amazing. It's expensive, so get it now. I feel like it looks really natural. Um, it does crease on me, but like every concealer creases on me. I've never had one not do that, so I don't know. I think it's just like my eyes and I have uh, wrinkles under my eyes, I get I don't know. Something about my skin, all concealers crease on me, so that's not surprising. But it creases a very little amount. It's almost a little bit blurring. It kind of minimizes texture. Sometimes I get like texture under my eyes and I feel like the concealer hides it really well, especially with baking powder, like if I bake on top. So good. I love it. Um, I wear it on its own. I wear it with foundation, whatever. I wear it basically every day. Next, powders. So I have an actual obsession with powders. If there's like one makeup product that I feel like you can really transform your skin with or like have like carve out your skin or blur things or highlight things, I feel like it's powder. Um, number one, I use the Huda Beauty baking powder. I love this one. I also love the Givenchy like prism one, but because it's so pinky, I feel like it doesn't suit me that well, but it's such a good powder if like you have cool undertones, get that one. Otherwise, the Huda Beauty and Pound Cakes, the one I use, I use it for brightening. I use it for um, under my eyes, like I'll just do like a thick like baking session on the sides of my nose, carve out my contour. It's so, so good. The Pat McGrath Sublime finishing powder. I've recommended it in a million videos, but it's really good for blurring and texture and I love it under my eyes. Um, it is translucent, so it kind of has a white cast and if you have like flash camera, it will have flashbacks. Same with the Huda Beauty powder. So those are some things to be mindful of, but like in terms of blurring for every day, I feel like it just gives my eyes like an airbrushed look if I do it under my eyes or like different areas of texture. Like sometimes we'll have texture on my forehead and it like kills it for me. So good. It's for like actual pressed powder if you want like little touch-ups or you can also use it under your eyes or just certain areas of your face. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish. It's really blurring, really beautiful. I have shade one and I used to be shade two when I was tan in the summer, but I'm one now. And I mean, people love it and recommend it for a reason. It's really good. But on top of that, last powder, and I swear I'm done with powders, the One Size by Patrick Star like powder foundation in the shade one fair. That's the one I have. I, this is the palest one they have. It's like a super white powder foundation. And basically at the end of my makeup, something is always missing and I need a little bit of like brightening, a little bit of something. And I'll take my Real Technique setting brush and just like take a little bit of that and put it like here, my chin, my forehead, like highlight the center T of my face. And it's 
I mean, it's basically essentially like reverse contour. It's like highlighting your face, no shimmer, and it's blurring and it's coverage. So everything you want in one um, life hack. <laughs> it's so good. Amazing. It's not my idea. I got it from TikTok, like people have been doing it on TikTok, but it, it works. It's amazing. And it's like, I love it for finishing touches on my makeup. Next for blushes, I really, really love the Tower 28 cream blushes. First of all, packaging so cute. Second of all, I love the color selection just because I'm such like a an orangey, peachy, like sunburnt type of girl. I love those types, those tones in blush. Yes, I love Rush Hour, really good. Blendable, super pigmented, but at the same time, easy to blend out. And like, if you don't like how pigmented they are, you can blend it and it looks really nice and natural. Along with that, the Patrick Ta Duo Blushes, the Cream and Powder. Really good, really good deal on their own without the sale, but with the sale stacked, it's like such a great deal because you get, I think for $48, you get a blush, um, you get a liquid and you get a cream and a powder blush. And I feel like just one would be $48 with other brands. So color selection was great. I have the She's Blushing for like a neutral kind of like uh, nude blush. I have She's a Doll, which is like a bright pink, which is fun in the moment. So yeah, I have those two shades. I really like it. Well pigmented that maybe it's a no, but really good formulation, really pretty color range. And there's like a TikTok filter that you can see them all on your face and see which one looks best, which is pretty accurate. Next for mascara. I, I love mascara. I feel like my lashes are really long and tubing mascara is where it's at. I love a good tubing mascara, specifically the Hourglass Lash Extensions one. It's really good. I was using the Kush one, or I have the Kush one by Milk, but it's not the same. It's pretty good, but like the Hourglass one kills it. It's so good. I love it. Recommend. Get it. I feel like my lashes, like they're really, they look longer, right? I feel like it adds length. It adds volume. It uh, doesn't clump. Super pretty. I love that mascara. Last face product, then we'll do lips. I love, and I recently got the Refi Highlight Thin Topaz. It's like a cream highlighter, liquid highlighter. So good. I feel like it's the most natural, shiny, like you're kind of like you're just, you're sweating, but you're like glowing from within kind of highlight because there's not really any glitter in it. It's just like a glow. Uh, it is. I will say it does stay tacky, so I can't like apply it on top of, I can't apply a powder on top of it. I have to make sure I'm doing like a really natural uh, kind of glowy look to be able to use it. Otherwise it's like looks a little funky, but I don't have it on today because I have a lot of powder on, but it's so good. Um, it's so, it's so natural too. And my friends and I were all trying it and we all have different skin tones and it was looking amazing on all of us. So love it. For lips, and then I swear I'm done talking. I've been talking for way too long. Lip liner. I love Makeup Forever lip liners, and I love Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. Those are my favorite from Sephora. Makeup Forever, I think you guys know, like, Wherever Walnut, Anywhere Caffeine. Those are, like, super popular. And really good, neutral, nudie pink liners that look good on anyone. But my personal favorite is not from that line, it's from like their normal lip liner line. It's just 3C. It's Makeup Forever 3C is the shade. It makes my teeth look so white. I don't have it on today. Bad example. But I feel like it makes my teeth look really white. It has some sort of undertone in it that I just love. I think I have four of them in my possession right now. I love them that much. One in every bag. So good. And then on top of that, glosses, Fenty glosses. So I have the heat ones and like the regular gloss balm luminizer in Fenty heat and fussy heat, I think. So both really good. Um, so like, honestly love. I think the heat ones I like cause I love plumping, but if you don't love plumping, they have like almost the same shades in the like regular formulation, which is also really good. They're not sticky, they're very thick, they have like good color to them, and they're just an all around great gloss. That concludes my Sephora favorites. These are only things that I can recommend with like my full chest that I love. There are some products that come close to me loving them, but these are like my all time favorites and ones that I really would recommend. So hopefully that was helpful and you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.